We met him in February inside a prison in northeast Syria. Hello, Joe. Hello. I'm Rabbit. But legal proceedings against his parents prevented us from broadcasting much of what Jack Letts told us. I asked for clarity about his time in Islamic State, and eventually he gave some. Do you believe you're a terrorist? I believe I'm considered to be a terrorist, but no, I don't believe I'm a terrorist. Do I? You joined a terrorist organization? Obviously, that's why I said people believe me to be a terrorist. Do I said, mean, what do I say? Obviously, I mean, obviously, that's why people say this. Do I mean? Terrorist, but it also it depends on your definition. One man's uh, it's the wrong thing to use. But I understand. You know, I was an idiot. Not that I'm not trying. Like I said, I'm not trying to make myself innocent. You know, I was, according to this definition, of course, I was a terrorist. You know. But you made the conscious decision. I made the conscious decision to, to, to join ISIS. Yeah, I mean that's the that's what everyone's decided. But is, are they right to decide to that? Well, I didn't come with the intention to join ISIS, but, but like I did. said, Yanni, you get taken by the current, Yanni. But I just want to be clear, you, you, you're not saying you were forced by someone to join ISIS? No, I'm you're not saying this. I'm not saying this. I'm not going to be an idiot. I don't, I don't actually want myself I don't want to say I'm innocent. Mm. I'm not innocent, and I deserve what comes to me, Yanni. And this is the friend who tried to stop him from leaving Oxford, sharing his account for the first time. Jack already had that poison that seed in his mind before he went out there. He'd noticed a creeping obsession with the Syrian conflict, then an unexpected call to say he was going abroad for a few days to learn Arabic. It was the same lie Jack Letts told his parents. Um, Tell me about the moment you, you really felt that, that Jack was going to Syria. The, the moment was when he called me and he said, I need to give you back all the stuff I've borrowed from you. No, 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 I have to give you stuff back. Da, da, da. That's when I realised this guy's not coming back. You got on your bike. I literally, as soon as I put the phone down, I literally went to my manager, I said, I've got to go. I jumped on my bike, I cycled as fast as I can from town to his parents' house, and I banged the door. I was thinking, you know, his mum's going to be there. It was his dad. I was like, listen, I'm telling you, your son, don't let your son leave the country. Yeah? You told him he was going to Syria. I said... I think your son's going to Syria. That's what I said. Because obviously I didn't have time. No, no, no. I said, I think your son's going. He's not, don't leave him there. Take his passport or I'm going to call the airport. Some time went on and then I got a phone call from his mum, crying on the phone. Jack's, I need you to come or something like that. Came. It's like, Jack's just called us from Syria. And my flip, my heart just like, fast, like, what has this guy done? Terror abroad. Heartache back home, but the journey of Jack Letts could have been stopped.